So what is one thing all airports have in common? Runways. Runways. All airports have runways. How about a wind sock? Well, most airports have wind socks, but we'll talk about wind socks. So all airports have runways. And these runways are numbered, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. On a compass rose of 360 degrees, this being north, east, south, west. We don't use north, east, south, west. We do it in degrees. 360 would equal zero. 90 would be east. 180. 180. And 27 or 270. 270. And everything in between. Okay? And it goes this direction, clockwise. Okay? Runways are numbered in the direction they point. Okay? And they're also given in magnetic direction. When we say magnetic direction or true direction, we're talking about magnetic versus true north. Okay? The variation between the two right here in this part of the country is about 13 and a half degrees. 13 to 13 and a half degrees. Separation between true and magnetic north. We'll talk a lot more about that on flight computer night. So, if we're going to land on the runway going this direction, what number are we going to assign this runway? Two seven. And how about this direction? Nine. Nine. Runway nine. Earth. <laughs> the boy listens. Now we're going to land this direction. One eight. One eighty. And two seven or three six. Now we're going to land this direction. How about four feet? How about four five? Forty five. Well, we'll never get a runway in four five. Runways are only numbered in tenths. Okay. Runway three. Now the other way. Okay, remember these runways, the number on one end or the other is always going to be 180 degrees off from one another. Okay? So 30 plus 180, 210. Right? You guys get what I mean here? Yep. And that's called the reciprocal. All right, so the reciprocal of 3 is 21, the reciprocal of 18 is 36, the reciprocal of 9, 27. This is how all runways are numbered, okay, in the magnetic direction, the direction they point.